more than half of the people in the West do not drink enough water. And if there is an accessible and science-backed measure to lose weight, improve my digestion, and enhance my cognition, it is drinking water on an empty stomach. This essential element for our life has shown to amplify its benefits if we consume it before eating. Therefore, I will explain the advantages of drinking water on an empty stomach, how much I should drink, and what precautions I should consider if I want to consume it safely. Our body is largely made up of water, and we know that 60% of our entire organism is formed by this liquid, which, however, we are constantly losing through sweating digestion. When we eliminate waste and toxins from our body, and even with the simple act of breathing, therefore, it will be crucial for our health to know how to optimally replenish water to achieve the best functioning of all our organs. Now, although there is no exact way to know how much we should drink a day, once we saw that the universal rule of eight glasses did not work for everyone, the idea that is most accepted today emerged, that is to drink one ounce per 2.2 pounds of body weight. This amount will be greater if we live in special situations such as a very warm climate, if we do intense exercise or in pregnancy and breastfeeding. So the necessary amount of water will be unique for each one of us, but there is something that is universal for everyone, and those are the important benefits that drinking water on an empty stomach gives us. First, we have the benefits on our body weight. When we introduce water into an empty stomach, especially cold water, a phenomenon in our body called thermogenesis occurs in which our metabolism is going to start up and is going to burn calories to try to warm up that water. And as we know that accelerating our metabolism generally leads to weight loss, the logical question that arises here is how many calories we burn just by drinking a glass of cold water on an empty stomach. And if we review the studies we have on this, we see that drinking water that has been cooled to 37.4 degrees Fahrenheit causes a small increase in our energy expenditure of 4.5% for 60 minutes, which translates into a tiny loss of calories due to this thermogenesis. But it turns out that water is going to cause our weight loss in another way. When we consume liquids or food, the stomach expands to accommodate what we have ingested. And this stretching, which water is also capable of causing, activates the receptors in its walls, which send signals to the brain and warn it that the stomach is full, which leads us to a feeling of satiety before starting to eat. Not to mention, in a review of six clinical trials in which a glass of water was drunk before meals, all the studies showed a weight loss in 12 weeks of between 0.88 pounds to 19.4 pounds. So this reminds us that by drinking a glass of water before meals, not only before breakfast, the amount of food we are going to consume will be less. And not only that, but most studies have shown this weight loss by taking advantage of this accessible, healthy, and effective measure. Secondly, we have the improvement of intestinal transit. We know that digestion slightly improves when we consume water prior to each meal, because we are preparing the digestive tract to receive the foods. When we drink water, our stomach begins to generate gastric juices and enzymes that we will need for digestion while our intestine gets going to propel the foods before they arrive. And this measure will be especially useful to get rid of the habit of drinking water during meals. And if I regularly suffer from slow or heavy digestions, I'm going to do a disservice to my body by giving it water with food, since the stomach, the great food blender of our body, needs the action of gastric juices to break down the food before sending it to the intestine to continue on its way. And drinking water during and not before meals can make that mixing work of our stomach more difficult because it dilutes the gastric juices. Thirdly, water on an empty stomach will displace other unhealthy drinks. We know that drinking water on an empty stomach is the best alternative to consuming sugary drinks or juices in the morning. Remember that juices, even fresh ones made at home with the best oranges, contain a lot of free sugar and no fiber, which means that excess sugar is going straight to our liver, abdomen, and arteries. And on the other hand, we have coffee and other infusions, which taken on an empty stomach, even without sweetening, cannot be compared with pure water in terms of hydration. We must remember that coffee and tea have a diuretic effect. So not only are they not going to hydrate me, but they are going to make me urinate more. So to start the day on an empty stomach, the best thing is going to be water to hydrate us. And minutes later, we can take these infusions so beneficial for our attention and memory, something we generally appreciate in the morning. And that leads us to the fourth benefit of water cognitive performance. And it is that drinking water on an empty stomach or simply staying hydrated is going to have a positive effect on our cognitive function. This is because the higher functions of our brain are very sensitive to dehydration, which even at mild levels can affect our concentration, memory, and mood. In fact, we have several studies that give us results in this line, and many of these trials curiously have been carried out in children. First, because the effects of hydration on their levels of attention and memory are more pronounced, and second, 
because giving a glass of water to a child and comparing their levels of attention in class with the rest of the classmates is very easy and does not represent any ethical problem. But the important thing here is that when these studies have been replicated in adults, we come to the same conclusion. Drinking water on an empty stomach, especially if we have dehydrated during the night, is going to help rehydrate our body and thereby improve these cognitive functions. Fifthly, we have the functional part of drinking water on an empty stomach. And science tells us something clear about creating a habit. It turns out that our willpower is not infinite and we spend it during the day, so it is going to be convenient for me to make things easy for my body to use that willpower that I have on really demanding challenges of the day. So, if we anchor the habit of drinking a glass of water when we get up and especially before each meal, something that will be easy because we will surely be near it, our brain is going to relate it and it will be much more likely that we remember it and establish it as part of our daily routine. I remember that when I did shifts in emergencies, a very recurring conversation with my colleagues was precisely about water. We all forgot to drink water in those 24 hours that we worked. You went from one place to another, suddenly a patient with COVID, and you had to put on the spacesuit to see him, which made you suffocate and sweat, and even then, you didn't have time to remember to go drink water. And it is that being busy or very focused on a task can make us forget something as essential as drinking. But I tell you this because at lunch and dinner, the glass of water was always there. So, consuming water before each meal is not only going to give us the benefits we have seen, but it is also going to help us anchor it as a habit and will make it easier for us to reach the daily water requirements. I do three meals. Well, I already have three glasses of water less than I need to remember in my day, no matter how busy it may be. Sixth, we have the plastic problem. It is common for many of us to have the same plastic bottle prepared on the bedside table to drink during the night or just upon waking up. Drinking water from plastic bottles, especially if we reuse them, can pose a risk to our health. First, because the passage of time in these bottles leads to the formation of microcracks, in which bacteria are going to have it easy to deposit and thrive. And second, because the components of the plastic can be released into the water and end up in our body, especially if it has been bottled for a long time. And it is that each year, 8 million tons of plastic waste end up in the oceans. There are microplastics in the environment, in what we consume, in what we drink. According to the WWF, humans consume more than 100,000 microplastic particles a year, which is equivalent to eating a credit card a week. In fact, it is predicted that in the not too distant future, we will have to add to routine blood tests the plasticemia, that is, our levels of plastic in the blood. Therefore, it will be more beneficial not to add even more plastic to the equation and opt for glass or stainless steel containers instead of plastic to drink our water regularly. And now that we know the benefits of drinking water on an empty stomach, and especially before meals, let's look at two beliefs related to water, which are widespread. Firstly, water on an empty stomach does not eliminate toxins. The process of purifying our body or eliminating toxins occurs in our liver and kidneys. First, our liver transforms toxic substances into less harmful forms, which are then excreted into the blood and filtered by our kidneys into the urine. And although it is true that these need water to expel these toxins and waste, the success of our kidneys purifying our blood does not depend on how much water we drink or when we take it, but on the amount of toxic substances it encounters on its way. That is, if there are more toxins, the kidneys produce more urine to eliminate them. So, it will be important to stay hydrated so that the kidneys function properly, but I must know that the water I take on an empty stomach is not going to be aimed at diluting or eliminating the toxins. That is going to be taken care of by my own body. Secondly, the temperature at which we ingest the water is not decisive. This temperature could slightly influence, but to this day, we do not have evidence that tells us that hot or warm water on an empty stomach being less aggressive, less shocking to the stomach, prepares us better to receive food. There may be some truth in it, and that very cold water is harder to digest for some people with sensitive digestive tracts. It may also be that cold water in the morning wakes us up more, and that warm or hot water is more comforting on cold days, but none of this has scientific evidence, so my recommendation is that you take the water as you enjoy it most, because the crucial thing here is to reach the daily requirements, and in this way, it will be easier for you to incorporate it as a habit. And thank you very much for staying with me until here. What do you think of these benefits of drinking water on an empty stomach? Do you have it as a habit? I read you here below, and if it has been useful, maybe this video about the benefits of avocado will be of interest to you. Take great care.